Open houses and home tours are quickly turning into virtual events as part of the new normal during this pandemic. If you need to buy a home soon and can't or don't want to attend in-person showings due to state or city restrictions and social distancing, a virtual tour is your best option. But unlike on-site tours where you can pinpoint every detail you can see, feel, touch, and even smell inside and outside the property, there might be some details that you're likely to miss or won't come clear through a screen when you go virtual. That's why it's crucial to ask your realtor plenty of questions about the home, even more so than you would on a home showing. So don't forget to ask these six things in order to get the most out of your virtual showing and end the remote tour feeling like you've done the visual inspection yourself. Boom! Boom, we're live. It's Chris Igo, Igo Home Group, powered by Remax Direct, and I am your local South Florida realtor. If you're new to the channel and want to learn exactly what it's like to eat, live, work, play, and thrive right here in sunny South Florida, then click the subscribe button now and tap the bell to be notified every time I do a new video. Be sure to smash the like button too, because let's face it, smashing things is good therapy, said no one ever. I digress. If you've got any questions about what it's really like to live in South Florida, then leave a comment down below or reach out directly and I'll be happy to help in any way that I can. The number one thing to ask during a virtual tour is did you notice any unusual odors? When doing a remote tour, it's possible to check every nook and cranny by evaluating listing photos and paying close attention during video chats. However, knowing the smell of a place is an entirely different matter. No one would want to buy a home that has a lingering smell. What can you do when you can't be at the property to be able to see or rather sniff things for yourself? So while scent is a judgment call, it's never been more important to ask your agent to be your nose when touring the home. You'll need to trust them to assess if there's any discouraging smells and what odors do not belong in the house. Some of the most offensive odors in the home include garbage, pet smells, mold, mildew, cigarette smoke, and other odors. Likewise, odors that do not belong in a home include sewage smell, musty odor, rotten egg smell, and what could be signs of hidden dangers or potential problems. It's important to validate these things early on in the process so you'll know if the home is worth visiting later on. And with a honker like mine, you can rest assured, no smells will be missed. The number two question to ask while conducting a virtual tour is how old are the appliances and the home system? While a virtual tour offers close-up views of the appliances and the HVAC system, don't forget to inquire about the age, the maintenance, and the usage. How old are they? Have they been recently replaced? Are any of them still under warranty? What will be included in the sale? Asking these questions will help make sure that you won't overlook the life expectancy of your potential home's appliances and systems. Also remember to look beyond their trendy colors and design. Replacing old appliances can be very expensive, so you wanna make sure that they not only look good, but also function well. The number three question to ask while conducting a virtual tour is what are the noise levels inside and outside of the home? Or what can you hear from the house? Aside from the smell, noise levels in the home is something that you won't easily pick up on during a virtual tour. So don't forget to specifically ask your agent if there's any ambient noise from inside or outside the home, especially if the property is on a busy street or near popular public areas such as restaurants and stores. Even if the virus has limited our movements outside for now, you'll want to know if volume may be a concern. The neighbor's barking dogs can be a deciding factor if a quiet neighborhood is part of your must-haves. The number four question to ask while conducting a virtual tour is are there any features or surfaces that look worn or outdated? The remote home tour is a great opportunity for you to learn everything that you can about the home. With your realtor as your primary eyes, make sure to get feedback on every detail. It's not always easy to tell from listing photos and in videos if the cabinets are really brand new or if they were just freshened up with a coat of paint and might need to be replaced in the near future. So don't hesitate to inquire about any feature or surface that looks worn or damaged. You want to make sure that what you're seeing matches the reality. Number five question to ask while conducting a virtual tour is what's the view like? If the home that you're touring virtually was described in the MLS as having a great view, now's a great time for a reality check. 
you might want to ask your realtor to open or push aside any curtains and blinds so that you can see all possible views from every room in the house. You never know why they were installed there in the first place, for decoration, for privacy, or the seller might simply be hiding an unsightly view that's easy to miss in the lens of a camera. The number six question to ask while conducting a virtual tour is do you have any concerns about the property that I should be aware of? Your realtor is not a home inspector, but with a discerning eye and years of experience, we can point out any make or break issues and highlight things that you should be aware of, especially since you're not physically there to check the place. We'll notice if there's any water damage, cracks in the foundation, or chip molding, any damage to the roof, cracks in the ceiling, potential flaws that you should be aware of before you totally fall in love with the property. A virtual tour done the right way should replicate the experience of an on-site property shown. We've helped hundreds of people relocate from around the country and around the world to South Florida, and we absolutely love it. During the pandemic, we're providing virtual property and neighborhood tours more than ever. As a 40-year South Florida resident, we know all the best places to fit your desired lifestyle and budget. So if you're even thinking about moving to South Florida, you've got to give me a call, shoot me a text, a DM, an email, send a carrier pigeon, or a smoke signal for crying out loud, by any means necessary. Because we've got your back when it comes to moving to South Florida. And until next time, peace.